guys, what's going on? This is Jen catching you on DTWJ Life. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to cancer season. Um, before cancer season begins on June the 22nd, um, what do you call it? Summer solstice and midsummer fall on the 21st this year, uh, according to the calendar. To me, it always falls on the 21st, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, welcome to cancer season. One of the things that I picked up for you is... Um, that you're taking like a much more easy or like easier approach to things. Um, you're lessening the pressure on yourself. Um, you're kind of going into a role of being a heck of a lot more laid back, which is great. I like that because that's you know a Cancerian energy, like when you know it's not busy or being tenacious and um, the Energizer Bunny is like the complete opposite, totally laid back, relaxed, reflective, you know, just um, imagine sitting at the beach, and I'm serious about this, um, and watching the waves of the water of the ocean wash over your feet. It's kind of like that, that energy, that flow um, of healing coming in if you need to heal. Um, a sense of ease if you need it coming in right it begins to wash over your feet the south node of your body it's quite beautiful it really is and I think that's like possibly your personal nirvana okay during cancer season you may need it as well depending on what's happening in your life um, coming up at the bottom of the deck I feel at ease right now I feel like that you know that flow and I really love the feeling of the ocean water just rolling over my feet I'm like oh. <laughs> comfort um, <laughs> at the bottom of the deck you have shaman and will upright coming in I fold something is coming into full circle right now for you uh, it's not reached its end or anything maybe it's um, widening into like a full view kind of like the moon the ruler of cancer so that you can have a full view of it. Pluto is um, with Ascension here. You're having a full view of what had recently left your life and the thing that is meant to help you ascend. You're kind of asking why is this supposed to help me ascend? I don't really feel it right now. Like I'm hurt or I'm angry or I'm scared. Um, Definitely look toward the lunar energy, okay, <clears throat> connecting with that, to feel the natural flow of why these things are happening and how it's helping you to ascend and get to the next step of your life, okay? This says, in my weakness, do not forsake me. Do not be afraid of my power. Don't forsake yourself, okay? Remaining sad or angry about something that maybe you had lost is like forsaking yourself in a way because those um, those emotions oftentimes make people very unhealthy physically, okay, as well as in uh, every other area of life, as you know well. So be mindful of this, okay? I'm just going to pull some cards out for you and see what the natural flow of things are for you during the season. Oh, I love it. Your card came up as the first card. Ah, I like it. For some of you, it may have to do with work or working on something. Oh, excuse me, my allergies today, guys. I was coughing earlier, so I do apologize for that. <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Instead of reading this as like the cards and clarifiers, I'm going to read it as a timeline because that's what it's looking like. And it's so funny because if you ever talk with a Cancer, they happen to really love history and like the points in which things originate from. And they can like describe them to you in full detail uh, in a story. 
you're able to, you know, tell a story, not a tall tale, okay, a real story on something, about something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is definitely flowing like a flowchart, if you will, right? If you're into information technology, you understand that there's an, a flowchart that could be applied to anything. Uh, your card is the first card, um, is the beginning card. I will say coming up, star and hope upright, okay? You are in a situation to where you need to see the hope. Emotionally connect with what gives you hope here. Yeah, I'm substance and the one who has no substance. Do not be ignorant of me. Instead of, instead of um, focusing on communicating with others in your highest, um, on your free time, Focus on communicating with yourself uh, in your highest right now because this is kind of a time to go within. Um, another Cancerian energy trait is to go within, uh, to heal, to find your hope, okay, to, to find your vision, to really emotionally center because right now you're not centered. If I can focus, okay, you're not really centered right now. You're feeling the karma of the situation and it's kind of unresolved a little bit within you within the heart the heart chakra a little bit in the throat chakra maybe there are things uh that you are not communicating <clears throat> that you should like you're not communicating your emotional stance on things um perhaps because you're ashamed to or you may have turned your emotions off, but this is the time to flip the switch back on um, because it is time to start to work through things, clay upright, laying down strong, sturdy foundations for yourself so that you can rebuild. And you can do this by tapping into your emotions and giving them a big hug. I know it sounds funny to do that, but honestly, it works to go within. Really think about it because in order to rebuild on the things that are outside of you you have to do the inner work to go within you have to go within first so within so as as within so without right really focus on that let all of the injustices that have occurred in the recent past or distance past uh, distant past go okay let all of the grudges that you may feel at the moment completely go easier said than done but focus on it this says i'm the judgment and I'm the acquittal. This is the time to be doing this. Acquit yourself of having to carry such a heavy load. Okay? Don't have faith. Don't put too much faith in what is outside of you right now. You can look at it, yes. You can observe it, yes. But the hope, again, lies within. And that is where the healing and the coming together of something, the building of something begins not coming together with that can pose a challenge and really kind of get in the way of the idea of building something but don't let it alchemically you can change this it's quite beautiful you really can you can change um the flow chart of this you absolutely can. You can change it. I just picked up a clarifier instead of the next card. This is why I tell the story now. Because it's true. It doesn't have to be in a specific order to be told. Because it's true as it is. You can reorder things around air. You can reorder things around alchemically to tap into what is truest to you. And this is the time to do it. Your history, what makes you feel good, what stabilizes you emotionally, so that you can begin to build. <clears throat> You're getting rid of the old things that have promised potential but uh, never really took action, okay? Or the people who have made promises and never really, you know, fulfilled them. You're kind of letting that go now. Okay, you are. You're letting it go. And this is probably where you need to give yourself the biggest hug because I know it could be very difficult. But this is the time that this is happening. It is happening now. 
This is the beginning of your healing and transformation. You're also going to find a clarity and an insight into exactly what strengthens you versus the weaknesses versus, you know, the, the emotional undoing. Okay, instead of focusing solely on that, right, you see your strengths. Okay, what actually makes you a good person, the talents and creativity that you do have, um, the resources, okay, that you do have, the, the things that you have versus what you don't have. You're leaving the mindset of lack to enter in a completely new realm. This is the card of Scorpio. Normally, this would represent a blessing in disguise moment, tower moment, okay? The crumbling down of things, which we already know is occurring. So, like, this is no surprise. But what's happening here is that you're sitting at the beach, allowing the water from the ocean to roll over your feet. It's taking away the old so that you can move forward into the new. <sighs> Guys, I so enjoy doing this reading for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If it had resonated, please let me know in the comments. I always respond. Um, also, uh, outside of my periodicals that I do, which are both the North Node, South Node readings for uh, all signs, as well as the astrological readings, I'm putting out more content uh, that is pertinent to the astrological activity that is occurring. Uh, I might even put out more content um, that kind of touches on, you know, uh, the physical senses, you know, like the, the, the beautiful things in life that bring you to a good place that you do need, that I need, that we all need, okay? Let's face it. Um, if you have not seen it yet, I do have um, one video for the Jupiter retrograde and another video for the Pluto retrograde. Um, so if you've not yet, please check those out. Uh, thank you for subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And if you had not yet, please do so because I will be here. And, you know, since we're going into, uh, and going into this new season, right? Not just cancer season, but the summer season and moving forward into autumn, there's going to be much more content rolled out. Um, if this did not resonate, get in contact with me for a personal reading. Okay. I'm not the type of person to sit here and say, you know, if this did not resonate, there are plenty of other readers out here. I turn no one away. Okay, I'm more than willing to take on any challenges that you can give me. Okay, because I'm here to help you. So again, thank you so much uh, for, you know, being here. Okay, really, I appreciate it. And best of luck with all this. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> okay, until the next one in the next season. Take care of yourselves and blessed be.